The winner is Board and Care. Sarah Pillsbury and Ron Ellis. Producers. Thank you all very much, and I would like to thank everybody who put so much time and energy into this film, particularly the people in Porterville, especially Ricky Goss. Uh, I would like to uh, share this award, and I, I think the people who've seen this film will understand why, with my sister and leading lady, Laura Jean Ellis. benefit from this the most. After three years on their program, she might very well be capable of living on her own. I can't tell her what to do. She's over 21. I mean... You have the legal responsibility for her. You do tell her what to do. Yeah, only so far. Well, I think this is included in that. I think you want your feedback a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, reach the blindfold. Go ahead, reach it. Good, reach up for the sock. Yeah, that hand, reach up. Good, get the blindfold, it's way down here. Move it around in there, good. All stay on. You learn lots of new things, and you live on your own. All I need is to be with Mr. Mama and my friends. Oh, there's lots of people here. You'll meet new friends.
Maybe I can meet a boyfriend. I'm Carolyn Holly from the Activity Center. I know who you are. We're having a picnic just down the road. We thought maybe you and Ricky would like to join us. We ain't got time for no picnic. Oh, well, we thought you might be interested in getting Ricky involved in the Activity Center, and the picnic would be a perfect opportunity. You get plenty of activity right here. Well, we have, we teach them other things. What other things? Well, can he read or write? I can't read or write myself. He ain't going to be able to learn that stuff. Now, he is what he is. And there ain't no need us fooling ourselves and wasting time. Well, it might do him a lot of good to be around people like himself. He's got more to do with his life than be shut up with a bunch of people that ain't normal. Hi, Ricky. Hi. I'm Miss Holly from the workshop. Would you like to come and see the workshop sometime? Yes. He ain't going whether he says he wants to or not. Going back to work. I take your break. Well, then go over there and take your break. Gay night light and bright light may have their Were you You know what's wrong with him? You never know. You mean you ain't got nothing lately, do you? Watch your mouth. You don't understand. You don't understand about women, Rick. I know. I catch you around my wife will kill you. Of course, my wife, she, she's so old, you wouldn't even pay no attention to her, no way. Ah, you finally come around. Finally come around. <laughs> Have you been? Live out this way? Right down this little old road. Thank you. 
Here's a little thing called the Chinese boogie to get things going. Well, old Wing Wong was a ding tung thing. It looked just like he had broke his spring. He done the Chinese boogie. Chinese style. Done the Chinese boogie and he almost went off wild. Well, I was outside, standing on the ground. When old Wing Wong first hit the ground, he done the Chinese boogie. Chinese style. He done the Chinese boogie and he almost went off wild. He done the Chinese boogie, Chinese style. He done the Chinese boogie and he almost went off wild. Well, he danced him short and he danced him tall, but when he swings me, brother, that's all. He done the Chinese boogie, Chinese style. He done the Chinese boogie and he almost went off wild. I see a, a hot dog. <laughs> I see... Your hot dog. Your hamburger. Oh! <laughs> your hot dog K ketchup. Your hamburger. Yeah, your, your mustard. <laughs> I see... I like, I like you.
What are you doing? Hi. Ah. Did you tell Winifred you're going away? I don't want to go. I don't want to go anymore. I thought you wanted to go to college and meet new boys. I already got one. She has a very good life here. She has a lot of friends. She's very happy at the home. She's well established. She's met a young man now. And where's that going to lead? Now you know that that there's not a chance that anything's going to happen with that. I don't know about that. Are you going to look after them? There for a minute, please. I want to talk to Lila. Thank you. Honey, Ricky and his father live very far away from here. And there's the possibility that they'll never come back again. Never again? That's right. And there's no point in your waiting for him when you have this fantastic opportunity to go to Broadview. Or no. I don't mind right now. <sighs> okay. So Dr. Locke will be here for uh, a couple more days and we'll then wait and see how you feel about it then. Okay? I want to see my friend Ryder. You ain't got enough sense to be messing with girls. I do. I'm not going to be going to town for a month. There ain't no need of talking about it now. I'll talk about myself. You can't go by yourself. It's 10 miles. Now, you stay here. Ricky? Oh, back in the night. Dummy, come on back here. I get this fixed. I'll take you in. Mrs. Hyde, on, on Miller Street. 